Welcome to Morningstar News, Boxing Day edition. <laughs> um, just first of all, I watched uh, Wonder Woman 1984 yesterday. Um, I'll put a link in the description to my, um, I guess you call it a reaction video, um, but check it out. It's kind of fun, very heavy with the spoilers. I'm basically uh, recording little clips um, as I'm watching the movie, so check that out. Um, there's a little um, review, a two minute review or so at the end, um, if you just want to skip to about the 16 minute long mark. Um, so yeah, it's long, um, but yeah, uh, check that out. Um, but yeah, let's get into the news for today. So the Queen of England does a uh, address to the nation, I guess, every, uh, uh, every Christmas. Um, and this year, after the real address, um, they aired a deep fake address um, by the Queen. And I guess the idea was to kind of, you know, say to people, don't always trust what you see and, you know, whatever. Um, also, just to showcase the technology and be a little fun, um, fun and uh, funny, <laughs> quote unquote. Um, but yeah, so it's it's an interesting idea, and I guess they got the point across. But I watched the video, and I wasn't that impressed. Like, I feel like if they were gonna do this, they should do it right, they should do it good. They should like really trick people and um, make them feel like they were actually seeing the queen. Cause I've seen some deep fakes, and I mean, people are doing deep fakes really good that you can, it's really hard to tell, honestly. Um, but yeah, so this this one of the queen that they did and they aired, um, and maybe they didn't want it to be too real, you know, cause that, that would be too much. There has to be a, a little bit of fakeness to it um, or else people would be confused. Um, but yeah, I feel like they could have upped the quality a little bit to get the hit, hit really hit a home run with with the state of the technology at as, as it is today. Um, but either way, it was kind of funny. Um, the the queen dancing and uh, <laughs> you know just silly. Uh, I guess that's silly Christmas stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a it's a just showcasing the technology. Um, trying to. It's getting people to talk about it, so I guess that's part of it too. Even if it's not the most realistic looking thing, um, people are talking about it, so that's good. Um, yeah, and I mean, these deep fakes, it's um, technology is getting better, uh, and I guess they're using some artificial intelligence for some of it too. Um, gotta be careful in the future where you get your news from, right? <laughs> okay, so like, Full on disclaimer, I use GoDaddy for hosting and um, domain registration and have been for, I want to say 20 some years, honestly. Yeah, so just looking at this news article, GoDaddy um, put out a phishing scam to their employees, um, basically saying they'd be getting Christmas bonuses if they click this link and dot, 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 and do all this do whatever they needed to do um, to get it. But it was fake, um, and they were just trying to uh, get their employees to interact with it as a test. So yeah, so they sent that out, and then the employees click it, thinking they're getting a Christmas bonus, and then GoDaddy is just like, haha, this was just a test. And like, no, you can't do that. You can't, you know, promise people money and then be like, oh, this isn't, what you thought it was. People are vulnerable during these times. Uh, we need money, you know. Uh, there's uncertain times. So people are going to be extra, I guess, gullible with regards to these things. And yeah, so GoDaddy, anyways, yeah, GoDaddy just issued an apology. Um, but what they really need to do is give the people the money. <laughs> I mean, that's the apology. Uh, but yeah, so that's just a mess. But so... I know GoDaddy, they they are not the best company, but we still stick with them because we know them and that's just how we do. But uh, honestly, if you can find an alternative, I probably wouldn't recommend them. Um, yeah, they try and grab you with low prices and discounts when you first sign up, but then your renewal is always high and everything like that. And I just feel like GoDaddy isn't the best company for um, these sorts of things. They've been around for a while. 
Um, so, you know, they were the big guys um, way back in the day. But now there's so much out there, so many alternatives. There's no real reason to go with them, I feel. And that's all we've got for you today. Um, what did you think of the deep fake? Did you see it? Um, check out the link in the description if you uh, haven't. Um, but uh, yeah, let us know. Um, take care.